I should show you two things. Number one, the map that the converter generated. That's it. It crashed. And number two, the map that I had to generate. We, of course, have Huey Long, the leader of the Communist United States. We do have Astolfo of England, which is pissing me off. I did a little bit of polishing where I gave everyone else a picture. And, and then at some point, he just lost his picture. And I can't, for the life of me, give Italy a picture back. I can't even give him another picture. I can't even give him the picture of, for example, Arnold Hitler. I don't know what's wrong here. This is it. This is the map as it has been generated. Generated. We shall load into the Femboy Empire, led by yours truly, Vigio Astolfo, Il Duce, but we of course also have Italy, also Il Duce, and the Arabic Empire by Luca Urushibara, also Il Duce. We also released the Chinese Femboy Empire, led by Thomas Safarik the 34th, the 3rd, the 2nd, also Il Duce. The Arabic Empire has cores on all of these, actually not on Sinusi, but uh, on Egypt, Ethiopia. Honestly, super cool. We do have two factions that I generated. Beacon of Democracy, led by Japan, Puyi, the Boy King, and also containing Franz Ferdinand. Nothing bad is ever gonna happen to this guy. And of course, the Grand Femboy Empire. We do have the Socialist Republic of Erfurt, led by Arnulf Hitler. The Volkemet, led by Oho Kekunen, the dictator. They also have Namibia as a puppet. And honestly, I... Oh, this could be the next Kaiserreich, you know? This could be Femboyreich. Because we don't have aluminum yet, I will just do something like this, I think. We're gonna convert all of you into holy boys. Let's keep 10 Femboys and turn you all into holy boys. And we can produce a few more holy boys. I'm gonna go for free grade. Gives us research speed, factory output, construction speed. Come on. You're a cock. I think we can start with our focus. A very legitimate focus of Chinese Civil War. Uh, web, webcam. What is this? Oh, we do have help. The specialist is on the case. I would say that's better, but let's hope that doesn't matter. Let's hope that th th this, th this didn't mess up the audio. I guess we can get a stall for now. We're already ready with the justification. We're definitely not ready with our men. Sure wish you had a few men to spare to send to the front lines. Why did I make such stupid borders? These guys should be able to push them. David Bowie, the appeasing technocrat. David Bowie is the drip king. Just look at this guy. He's slaying in that outfit. Nice, we did get in a circle back. We've pretty much won the war at this point. They really didn't like that I took the one province. They all just left. <laughs> Italy is as competent as ever. There we go, we have liberated Hong Kong. Is that also something that we're still upset about, or did we just accept it? And we can already become a non-puppet. We can change our autonomy level to a free. So let's do it, Mario. Germany is at war again. I don't know why it says Germany. This is definitely not Germany. This is the Socialist Republic of Erfurt, as you can see, led by Arnold Hitler, the dictator. And we can go to total mope. Doesn't really matter that we're losing manpower now, because we have 10 million anyway. No, Abad is gone. We're gonna have to save them at some point. Australia will be gone just because of the fanboys. Fanboy Australia was puppeted. I guess we're bringing Australia back into the empire. What goes around comes around. How did you get here? How did you get... What the fuck? That's not even paratroopers and the AI doesn't use paratroopers. Oh, they even have screening ships. For no particular reason, we are going to put our troops up here on a Chinese, bo a Chinese border. Japanese border. There we go. Germany has declared war on Hungary, which does mean they are also at war with Japan. And by sending declared war on Transcaucasia. What? Profinia has strategic reasons to not ally Erfurt? You're a puppet, my guy. You don't even have a say in that. Erfurt joined Volkermet. League of Nations is over. I don't think we ever had League of Nations. Lofaringia joined the Beacon of Democracy. The Republic of Transcaucasia joined the Beacon of Democracy. Germany is just gonna steam... I mean, Erfurt is just gonna steamroll Lofaringia and then after that, Burgundy. I'm just gonna go in against Japan. Oh, 15 days? No, that's way too quick. <laughs> I, I'm not ready in 15 days. I need more holdy boys. Let's Let's check the supply map. Maybe there's something I can do to the problems up here. I guess we can prepare this railroad and then immediately take Kabarovsk. Somebody's justifying against Burgundy. That's not gonna work, my friend. Yeah, there we go. Oh god, please don't justify against the Burgundian cantons. 
You really are just making the borders worse and worse every time. I learned from the best. Europe is now under control of the Socialist Republic of Erfurt. I need to go in right now. We need to pin here, you go here. Oh, baby, 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 baby. I can see a nice encirclement here. I don't know why I just channeled Persona 3. <laughs> now that I think about that, it was kind of stupid to declare war on Japan. Because the Germans are just gonna get all of the land now. Oh, thank you Byzantium. I still don't like that you're here, but uh, thank you for the weapons, I guess. Just for good measure, you took Galicia. And the Americans are going in against California. It's probably... <laughs> Okay, goodbye California. I think limited exports is gonna be fine. There we go. Upgrade the Femboys with medium flame tanks. The only thing they, they're missing right now is logistics, which we can't really get because we still need way more support equipment for all of this. The Indian Civil War, as well as the Delhi Nepal War, is just stalemating. CSA joined, but not. not that kind of CSA, the other CSA joined Erfurt. Oh, final doctrine? Yes, please. There we go. One encirclement at a time. Oh, it looks like Erfurt is going to come in. I am a little bit worried about Italy here. 200 divisions, 150. They should be able to hold against Germany. Against Erfurt, sorry, against Erfurt. I don't know why I keep calling it Germany. This is obviously Erfurt. There's nothing German about this. The Japanese have stopped attacking us, it seems. Erfurt is going in against Italy. We are definitely gonna join the German-Italian war. Although I don't really have any Anything. Mm. I do have something I can send over there. Oh my god, Arabia is gonna fall. Uh, what about, it? let's consolidate. You also don't have any divisions up here. What are you doing? We are gonna need every last man that we can get. Canada is lost. Let's just send you here. We cannot afford to lose the Femboy Empire under any circumstance. If they are gone, we have lost. Then this is gonna turn into a proper end -seek scenario where I don't know how I'm supposed to make this work. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a shame if that were to happen? Ah, oh, Jesus! Ah, oh, fuck! I actually hurt myself! <laughs> Stupid door! Help! Anybody? Is anybody there? I didn't think about this. I didn't think you would need my help. You should be so strong. And Italy is also getting pushed back. My entire alliance is falling apart. Oh, Arabia and Byzantium are too scared of each other. Yeah, Italy is gone. How do I want to do this? Korea does not have any divisions, so if we are quick enough, we can just fall in. I can get divisions into Italy, but not enough to also garrison the ports. Our navy is not gonna hold against the Air Fortian navy, so that's not gonna work out. Korea did join the Zentralmächte. I did not expect that means Japan is gonna declare war on them. A lot of Americans here. Casualties too. We've also lost Andalusia. Namelin. Just took a nice little nap and now he's up and time for another nap. Just love the outlook on life that cats have, you know. They just chill, nap the entire day, and then when they're done, they move 30 centimeters, and then they take another nap. They're still grinding up against us. But not to worry, we do have our planes at the ready. You can't build AA in ally territory, but surely you can build radar stations. Yeah, I have not researched radar one. Okay, this is sort of risky. Just drop another 29k. 29k? No, 29 divisions here. I'm gonna try and use these as another spear for this attack. Supply is gonna suck here. <laughs> oh, we can get a cost dog. Yes! And you're all encircled. That is our cussy. We can produce a few of those as well. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Oh no. Do not int this hard, America. Uh, femboy, uh, empire. Me. There we go. Orissa is the India of this game. Oh, I did waste power points. Power points? I've used it in school once. They called it coding class. Now that I am a developer, I have not used PowerPoint once. I don't think this was coding class. Then again, I am in Germany. So, plugging a computer back in and back out, that is considered IT support. That's what I said. I don't have the divisions to defend the ports. And you certainly don't have as well with your 200 divisions. I don't know where they are. Encircled in Andalusia, it looks like. 
Wait, you are in a faction. Why can I not make a border? No, I'm in every war that you're in. <laughs> you're in. I don't know why I can't make a proper border here, mate. Come on, take this, then we have encircled these guys. Okay, we have 10k RT. Wait, why do we have so much RT? I never gave them artillery. That explains so much. They could have been dealing so much damage. Putting artillery in those divisions was a good call, it looks like. It looks like we took all of those Japanese divisions out as well. Which means we only have to clean up this border now. Yeah, but look at that, that's a lot of green. Now that I think about it, it is topical that Vijo Stolfo is not garrisoning his ports. It is historically accurate, so I can't even fault myself for that. Also, I will have to steal a navy from somebody, because I sure as hell am not gonna build a navy with this tech tree. I can guarantee that. You fool! You should have knocked on wood when you had a chance. Let's just make a small push here. We can definitely hold, but if we can make the Americans weaker, then it's worth it because that makes holding in the future easier. They're still a little bit busy. We just need to push America away. If they pour 400 divisions into America right now, the Fembo Empire will collapse. I'm actually doing this the first time in Hearts of Fallen history that I am going to build an actual navy from scratch. Except for, you know, this one destroyer that I stole. Then let's start building a few more air bases in here. Actually, that's enough. <laughs> All of my dockyards that I built. So much work returned to nothing. Oh, also we don't have an admiral. There you are, Wang Jin. Am I allowed to say that on... Look at that, the new streamer light. The thing that I broke 17 episodes ago. I can re request garrison support. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need it. Uh... Uh, that shouldn't be a 1950 tag. I think the there there used to be jet upgrades that were 1950 tag, but I don't think this is 1950 tag. Fall of Tokyo. Look at that. My navy is doing wonders. It, it's working. The Americans are the Americans are winning because of me. You can't keep on attacking. It will not change your destiny. You are now on all adult serve and. Out of manpower? I don't know if that's how much you have recruited right now, but... Whew. Okay, number one. Very important. Take stuff in Japan. I do not want to invade Japan late game again. Jeremy, I will not give up Iwo Jima. That is way too close. Oh my god. I'm gonna get RSI now. Like, this This is worse than Wiki 2 Railroads. It's gonna take ages. On the one hand, I don't want to take the navy. On the other hand, I also want this game to end at some point. So we're just gonna put this navy here into your hands. Into Wang Dong! He's back! Wang Dong is back, boys! And you're also my army commanders. Oh, that could be bad. Yeah, give me all of your stuff before you die. Why did you join? That was so stupid. You had a truce with Byzantium. Okay, wait a minute. I think I can deal with this. Panama Canal has been blown. Why did you do this? Why did you blow up the Panama Canal? You're a fucking idiot. That's a lot of Germans. Him and his twins. You are just gonna attack here. In the current position, I'm completely fine with them grinding up against us. Sure, Germany might pull out 50 million men again, but I will have more than this. I have 41 million manpower on 9% of our conscription. We can still get 3% from women in the workforce. We can still get 20% more from scraping the barrel. <laughs> and the Swiss has been blown as well by enemies. Righto, boys, fall back. Arabia has doomed itself. Oh no, it's starting. It is starting. Get in there. Yes, okay, we did it. Yes, yes, yes. We're fighting them back. Yes, we have our, we have our main supply of steel again. Without Chagatai, we are screwed. So if Chagatai ever closes their borders, we will have to declare war on them and open an up another front. But I think most of their steel is, yeah, most of their steel is in the west. So no resistance here, like, like it was meant to be. The real Germans are here and they're running. I mean, 
driving? Chagatai has 710 steel. We have to attack Chagatai. 60% army stockpiles. You only have 90 divisions. How? What are you doing? We are losing South America. No, we have negative supply. Oh, the Suez Canal has been repaired by the Afortians. Guess we can deploy 3k fighters here. Just tell them to train and do the same thing with the cars so that they are ready for the invasion. <laughs> That was about sending a message. They just repaired it in order to blow it up again. We can assume faction leadership. You don't deserve being the faction leader of the Grand Fanboy Empire. We have to open up this front. We have to break this egg to make an egg omelette. Hearts of Iron! Hearts of Iron. This is now officially a tax write-off. Can you please just attack before the Germans arrive? I don't think I can get anybody into the faction. Actually, potentially with some pressure ring. Very nice. A few Byzantine divisions, a few other divisions. Ah, I was missing one of the supply ups. Well, I don't need it anymore. Okay, whew, another ally. I might need to go for the long game here. I will have to flip Orissa. Not fascist, but enough fascist. When I made that promise in the EO4 video that we're gonna end Seek, I kind of feared that something like this is gonna happen. But I just wanted to be funny. I wanted to be the cool uncle for once, not a weird uncle. I'm actually using spies to flip somebody to fascism. I can't believe it. You've repaired the Suez Canal again! <laughs> I bet they're gonna blow it up. I do wonder why the AI is always so shit when they're on your side. Arabia has done nothing except for join the wall in order to get destroyed. Italy, I will give Italy that much. There was no way they could hold on against Germany and Sweden on their own. And you are just getting constantly navally invaded. <laughs> I'm not gonna do this alliance rule set again. The alliance rule set is just way too depressing. I'd rather do the thing that I did last mega campaign where it just, instead of allying the nations, I fought those nations. That was a nice little challenge. And also, I don't have to watch this go down. I will at some point strangle the guy that invented the Hoi for naval invasion sound. For the purposes of YouTube, this was a joke. This was not a threat, this was a joke. I believe in you. I'm gonna... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna play Orissa the next time I play EU4. Or... You know what? If, if we win this, I'm gonna make a Bhutan game. If... If... If we... Just, just to honor you, I'm gonna play Bhutan in Hearts of Iron 4. I'm actually getting lightheaded. There is still a way out of this. We will probably give up America. If we can make it through Chagatai and get Orissa on our side, we might be able to kick out Arnulf from Germany and then later on also reinvade the US. I think it's time for this. So congratulations, you have won this battle. And now we just start creating a billion fanboys. We are gonna need them. It's 1949, we've lost all of America, except for Argentina. We've lost Italy, we've lost Arabia, and uh, we've gained Japan. You repaired it again. That's just your pastime right now. <laughs> Building candles and then destroying them. At this point, you don't really have anything to worry about. We are at the doorstep of Sweden. Partially. The supply hubs are so stupidly weak. I know this is the Urals region, but come on. They last like three tiles here. I'm honestly impressed how strong the Orison defense thing is here. It's genuinely hard to infiltrate them. I also probably should have gotten psychological warfare. Uh, no, don't tell me. Oh, fuck, man, you lost your missions. Could have pushed so much better as well. That is one of the most annoying bugs in this game, man. I mean, there are many annoying bugs in this game. I don't think I can recruit Orison guys. I guess it's House of Iron. I am not particularly surprised. Four million men, where are you get? Where are you? Oh, wait. Did you find them under a sofa? Come on, please. Stop getting captured. I can't even recruit anyone here. Look at that number go higher. Oh. I'm doing fine, guys. I'm doing very fine, okay? I hope you're doing fine on this fine Sunday. I mean, uh, insert weekday afternoon. Uh, at this fine 
insert weekday, insert local time, October this year. Then we can go in again. I would very much like to get into Omsk, just because that immediately knocks out all of their supply. I want to first encircle all of these guys. After that, we can do an auto push. Oh, we do have this encirclement now. There we go. I guess it is time to start pumping out a navy. Collaboration governments. That's a thing in this game. I completely forgot about the mechanics of this game. I'm building the Trans-Siberian Railway all on my own. The Trans-Siberian Supply Hub. There we go. We can... Yeah. You joined the Beacon of Democracy? That's still a thing? Japan? How did you revive that one? We need to build more supply ups. God, it's so weird. There's Orison divisions here. I'm not used to seeing my allies. Every time that our push slows down, I know why it is. Just need to check. Oh, wait. Are our planes ready right now? Don't tell me. No. You can't upgrade the railways of your allies. Oh. I built that one. Why can't I just do this? Paradox. Just upgrade bottlenecks. I just, I will just, I will just one day, one day I will, one day I will find one of the Paradox employees and just knock at their door and then I will leave. Oh, they're all encircled. Ooh, we already overran like 30 divisions. That was only 500k. Just in case the Chinese government is listening, invading Europe through Russia is not a very smart idea. You have to build way too many supply hubs and they took, take way too long. So uh, try another way, please. I mean, dick move, brother. That is a problem. If they bomb us enough, then our war support is gonna drop. They're just bombing our war support to zero. There's nothing I could do about that. It's just we have too much land to defend here. Check it out, it's gone. Yes. No. Polo I have bad news for you, my friend. I have garrison divisions. No, oh, they're coming from every angle now. Oh my god, I'm starting to become the AI. 615 divisions. 73 million men. Uh, I don't know why I keep doing this. It's 1956 for crying out loud. And then I'm gonna send you over to the US because if anybody hurts you, then they are racist. And uh, there is not a single racist American as far as I know, especially in the 1950s. Like, it took me two hours to move through Iran. Wait, why can't I research this? Even though I don't have this, but I, what? Just from a UI perspective, that doesn't make sense. I don't think I'm supposed to push into those tiles. Wait, 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 I, ju I just promoted someone and I can't use him. We just need to get air superiority back. Just air superiority. Ah, now I can create the Indian section. I don't need the Indian section anymore. I've been playing this session for eight hours now. You were at zero manpower already. You've changed nothing. You have the exact same number of divisions and the exact same deployed manpower. We just conjured 500,000 men at least from somewhere. Sure, compliance, but you only own Mexico. It's pretty much only American divisions, so 29 million. Oh, that was a lot of overrun. Yep, that was 1.5 million. Are you serious? Scandinavia, it's 1960. How do you not have a full military doctrine. I'm currently editing a little bit and also just waiting for a few of our boats to appear. One thing I realized while doing this, I can deploy units in Scandinavia. I got the collab government on, the, on Scandinavia and then I annexed Scandinavia. Is it because of that? I don't think I've ever seen it happen. Comrades, it's been nearly 30 years since this conflict started. I was not born when it started, but my mother told me that my father died bravely defending Los Angeles from a swarm of fanboys. We thought that the threat was over, that we had banished them that we would no longer need to fear about this. But we were mistaken. 
When I was young, I heard stories of the great pushback when we held the invaders at bay. The legacy of my father and those who have fallen before me are weighing heavy on my shoulders and they weighed even heavier when I enlisted. Because those stories filled me with a sense of pride, joy and duty to protect the country that I love. I've seen comrades fall, friends turn into memories, great cities return to rubble. These scars, they run deep. This endless conflict that's been going on for decades. And there's nothing we can do to change this. We must stop the fanboy empire before they overtake us. They cannot retake our homeland. It is threatened once again by them. But this time, we must make sure to defeat them once and for all. I do not know how this conflict began and I'm sure neither are you. It's been too long, but it doesn't matter at this point. Because a spectre is haunting the United States. A spectre of fascism. We must banish this once and for all and defend our homeland because we are the last bastion of democracy and freedom and if we fall then this world is doomed. We must secure it for the generations yet to come. It's 1965. I played a little bit more, longer, more, better, stronger while editing. <laughs> 113 million Zentralmächte dead. America is stuck on all adult surf because they don't have stability and they don't have war support. So they cannot go higher. They are the only ones left with only 1.6 million deployed manpower and 190 divisions. Hey Merlin, realized that I was recording, huh? Want some attention again? Ah, yeah, just zoomies. 12.75 million deployed manpower, 1.2k deployed divisions. We do have 25,000 planes deployed. I have already prepared the naval invasion. We do have 100% co-op government on the US as well. They are a little bit undersupplied because we do have too many divisions here, but uh, it should be fine. There we go, there was one division up here. Honestly, I might as well just do it like this. And we're gonna have supply, pro pro supply problems, so I don't care. Just build whatever the fuck we need. Seriously, at this point, it doesn't matter. We still have 400 factories not used. I've used up every available slot in pretty much all of Europe and all of Asia, all of Russia. I mean, not India. I had to build way too many supply hubs all across Russia anyway. Like you, you can just see the path that I took. I pretty much built an entire autobahn throughout Russia, China, Japan, all of Scandinavia, even Greenland, just to make pushing easier. How can we build there? We have one province. Also, planes, please do something. There we go, that's more like it. What? That was nothing! I was preparing for a recording session of a few hours, at least. That was underwhelming. Well, we only got 370 states. I didn't pay for this. I paid for this to get 100% compliance on the US. Yeah, and we really just pushed into here. That is all that the US has lost. I guess this is the Chinese fanboy. I mean, that, that was the fanboy mega campaign. What was this? That was just sad. Yeah, we are still at war with Sri Lanka, but there's no way we can compete with them. They have a whole four divisions. They have 1,000 convoys. Hey, what am I supposed to do against that? We can just reminisce this over what we've done. We've spent 30 years and two months in this game. Only took me 10 hours, which is a huge fucking surprise. 80 million. <laughs> casualties. I think my career profile is gonna be very skewed now just because of all of this. <laughs> Stay tuned for the Bhutan game. I should just stop making promises.